hi everyone today i'll be showing you guys how to download install and use minecraft forge which allows you to play mods in minecraft pc and without further ado let's get started now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is pull up a chrome tab and go to files.minecraftforge.net and once you're there you can go and obviously you see on the left hand side it says minecraft version it has all this drop down menus and what you're going to do is you want to go with the most recent release unless you would like to play mods that are only available in a certain um, version of Minecraft. But for me, I would like to play the newest one. So I'm going to go to uh, Minecraft 1.16.5. Now, once you have a version selected, you're going to want to hit download the latest. Now, this is going to be um, the one best for your version, obviously. Uh, and now even though it says download recommended you can also do that but I prefer doing download latest because they most likely have fixed the bugs from the previous version so basically you're, you're going to want to hit the install button and from there you're gonna have to want to look at this top right corner so right here it right here obviously it has a countdown and then it has skip so here you, you want to hit skip and then your download will start in the bottom left hand corner so from here it says this type of file can harm your computer that's because it ends in .jar these are files that can change certain applications on your computer uh it says do you want to keep it it said uh i'm going to choose yes obviously keep um so i have it there now if it doesn't show up you're going to want to hit these top three buttons or the um, the button that has three dots on it and go down to downloads or you can hit Control j now from there you can see it's right here so if it doesn't give you the option to keep it, you can just go here and click it and then it'll, it'll launch it again. So. But once you're there, I'm, I'm just going to show you what it does. Click it. It's going to launch it right there. So then you can close out of Chrome. Uh, so then from here, it says, which one would you like to install? The client, the server, or extract it? So you don't want to do two things, okay? You're going to want to hit install client, which will install it into your Minecraft version, right? So what it's doing right now is it's changing and uh, downloading a library into your Minecraft launcher. So once you do it, it'll launch as a different um, version of Minecraft, which I'll show you in a moment. So once it's done, you're gonna see this pop-up. It's gonna say complete, and it's gonna say it's su successfully installed the client profile forge uh, for that version. So you wanna hit okay, and it's gonna close that out. So this is the second part. You're gonna wanna go back to downloads and download or click the download again. So from there, you're gonna wanna hit install server. So that what this will do, it's gonna go into your Minecraft files on your computer, and it's going to install a mods folder. So you might get a pop-up like I did, where it says you actually already have this installed, but I wanna be safe and go ahead and download it again, just to make sure if I accidentally deleted anything, then it's going to be reinstalled there. And don't worry about it over installing, cause It'll just replace the files um, or skip them. Hey guys, so a quick interruption from the regular video. If you ever have any issues with your Java and if it tells you that your Java is not up to date, what you have to do is if you go to java.com, you can see in the search bar right here, and um, just freely download Java. So you're gonna obviously have to hit agree and start free download. And once it's done, you'll just have to go through the download process again. Um, so it just popped up on my screen to do uh, to allow me to change my device and then I can just go here and hit install and it will start to install the correct version of uh, Java which is the most uh, recent version of it but anyway guys let's head back to the main video and then once you're done you're, you're gonna see this pop-up it says complete just like the previous one and you're done for the downloading part and installing part it's a double whammy so then you're gonna want to launch Minecraft launcher and it's going to have this loading screen and then once it finishes you'll just select the installation and bam you're basically done so like i said you're going to want to uh you're probably seeing going to install a different version or installation which you can see here uh you can rename it if you would like to forge or whatever it's already named forge but uh from here you can select it from this drop down menu and then hit play so it's going to give you a alert that says, hey, you're actually going to be uh, using an, a modified version of Minecraft. Um, so it's not as safe as regular Minecraft because it's modified. Um, so then you just want to hit understand the risk. Cool, whatever. And it's actually going to be downloading the Minecraft Forge installation. All right, guys. So when you have 
the Minecraft version showed up, it's going to show this portion of it. It's going to uh, basically have a bunch of weird text on it, and it's going to show that it's setting up the forge part. And then once... Well, that's loud. That's really loud. And then basically, once you go into the forge version, you'll see that it actually says something different than what it does in the real game or the regular game. It's going to say forge down here with, with what version. It's going to say the Minecraft version. It's four and uh, how many mods you have loaded, which obviously you have a nice uh, mod section right here, which everyone's going to have a base of two mods set up. You have regular Minecraft, which it modifies, and then you have Forge, which is the, modifi the modifier. So this is now the portion of the video which I'm going to be telling you how to install and put the mods into Minecraft so you can use. Because you already have the way to use it, you just need the mods. Now my favorite site to use is MinecraftMods.com. It's basically the most known. It's like the first one to get the URL or whatever. So let's just go with uh, a random one let's go with the scuba gear like let's say you just want to have scuba gear right it's in the correct minecraft version it says minecraft 1.16.5 which is what i have it for uh or what, what forge version i have so you want to look you're going to see oh cool that's pretty cool you want to download it right so once it's downloaded you can just click out of that one and it says your download is going to begin in a couple seconds and then once it does it's going to have that same alert we had earlier which says do you want to keep it anyway so yes i obviously want to keep it and it's going to be in that dot jar uh file version so from here you can go back to minecraft which if you don't for, for some reason see this you can always just go to uh app data or percent sign app data percent sign and what that's going to show is it's going to show your minecraft um app data and then from here there's going to be a mod folder that's why you installed the server and you can just plop it in or if you, if you just want to be safe you can go through this which basically opens the same thing um and then you're just going to want to pop up um the scuba gear dot jar file and plop it in you can close out of both of those and uh done you're just gonna have to restart your game real quick obviously because you just put the mod folder in and then you'll see that there's actually one more mod loaded which you can go there and you can see oh it's a mod that sets up the simple setup under uh, underwater scuba gear uh, so from there, you're going to want to hit done. You're going to want to go to single player. And then obviously you want to hit creative because that's going to be what allows you to do it. And then you're going to go to data packs. Now right here, this is the thing. Select it, right? So you have Minecraft, Forge, and Scuba Gear. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, like if you want a uh, Minecraft world with only one of your four mods, you just unselect the four mods, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory and uh let's launch into the world i'm assuming it renamed it yeah there we go so scuba boots scuba leggings so let's put it on and uh go underwater right so let's go to survival inventory pop this on oh wow so it actually has a super cool effect if you can i don't know if you can tell this but it actually makes you uh weigh more and then once you're in the water you can go and swim and then it looks like you're a deep sea diver which is a pretty cool mod to have in my opinion i'm actually not sure if it changes if you can um if you can like swim or not swim but if you could breathe underwater uh but we're gonna test it out all right we're gonna go underwater and it does it actually changes if you can uh breathe underwater or not yeah, you guys, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, this will be the first of many Minecraft videos coming up. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I see all your uh, all your comments. I like them, heart them, reply to them, and sometimes delete them if they're inappropriate. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and uh, happy modding.